Well, there's nobody else around, I guess. I, I, I don't, yeah, I, I, yeah, I've heard that. But, uh, what, what was that like? Well, it was, uh, you know, it was kind of fun uh, in a way that uh, it, it was murder playing baseball because all these guys that I'd play against say, oh, here's a video ranger, man. You can't throw a ball past him. Well, yes, they did. You know, I mean, I got a lot of ribbing when I played ball, if they knew who I was. Um, but that was okay. A lot of it was in, in, in fun. Um, I don't know. You know, I got a lot of fan mail, and I sent out a lot of pictures to to, uh, to people, and uh, I don't know. What, do you remember the first uh, for, first instance of um, where you saw that kind of response? Oh, well, someone saw me on television, and and they knew who I am. Yeah, I, I, you know where it happened a lot uh, was when we traveled, when we did uh, the Allegheny County Fair, or we went to. When post serials took the show, we used to do food shows, and then you'd get, you know, I mean, um, I did, you know, the little girls that would be, you know, follow the ranger around, you know. Was, luckily, I didn't get in any trouble, you know. <laughs> but it, no, but it, it was, it was. Uh, uh, there weren't, well, there wasn't that much on, you know, and there weren't that many guys my age, I guess, and uh, so I hit a nerve somewhere, and it kept me employed, which was good, but. Uh, but it was the, the sense of, of, of newfound fame. I mean, yeah, in a way, because, you know, doing the theater and radio, nobody knew what the hell I did for a living, uh, you know, unless I told them. But this, you know, then you, you know, you become sort of a public person, as, as we do in, in, in doing soaps. But soaps are different. Soaps are, are people, people come up to me like they know me. I mean, I've been on this for 42 years, and then and, and they, do I know you? Are, are you on the new? Wait a minute, you're Dr. Bob, you know. And it's not clawing in any way. It's, wow, I grew up with you, or whatever. And in those days, uh, um, as I said, when we would travel, I would get much more recognition. And a lot of times, we'd have those uniforms on. Well, we looked like the Peruvian Navy if we walked through an airport, if we had to get back to do the show, or, you know, we, and that would be, people didn't know whether to salute us or lock us up, you know.